all about the Blue Jackets and the Islanders today, so we thought we'd try to get some of the guys on the uh, show, right? So uh, Nick Foligno making some time for us uh, after sweet nice. the Tampa Bay love Lightning. It. Uh, joining us on FaceTime, too, which, which we, we love. Which really like. we phoners. really like. We don't like the phoners. <laughs> we like FaceTime. But, uh, Nick, congratulations. Huge, huge series uh, victory for you and the Columbus Blue Jackets. You said last night after the game on the ice interview, you said it's been a long time coming for hockey fans in Columbus. How much did this win and this moment mean to the fans there? Well, you should have seen how much work it was to get this FaceTime up and running, but I'm glad <laughs> we got that figured out. Um, but man, I mean, uh, just, you know, trying to, you're not trying to, you're trying to stay in the moment and not really reflect too much, but just seeing how, how the fans reacted last night and uh, just the, the way everyone felt in that arena, the, the, the noise in that arena, um, you know, seeing people day one, people, uh, you know, from security guards to people working to, to fans. I mean, it was, it was just unbelievable to be a part of and so happy for the organization and the McConnell family. But, you know, we really feel like we're not done. We got a lot more work to do. The job's not done, obviously. And, and we're excited about the opportunity in front of us. Hey, Nick, you know, I've talked a couple times today about the, uh, the way you guys were able to execute the game plan. I thought that uh, I wanted to give credit to your scouting staff and to your coaching staff in that they came up with a real plan for you guys. And then, of course, you guys were able to execute it. Talk about what you guys discussed prior to the series in terms of things you had to do to beat Tampa. Yeah, I mean, we obviously knew we had our hands full uh, with a team like that and, uh, and with the, the regular season they had and the weapons. And uh, I just thought our, our coaching staff gave us a, a very direct and simple game plan and the guys were excited about it. We knew that that's what we needed to do in order to win. We've obviously played them during the season, uh, didn't have great success. So we were excited about that opportunity of, of rectifying it just by some simple tweaks, really, in, in our game and, uh, and tightening up, obviously, defensively. And, and, but, but still, you know, finding that balance, I think you watched, of, of tightening up defensively, but, but also going after them and then playing that, that aggressive forechecking style that we play. And, um, and I thought the guys bought in tremendously and it's a credit to our coaching staff for not filling our heads with too much information against a team like that and, and letting us go play, but knowing that this was the, the, the three simple things that, that were going to help us in this series and the rest we, we said to go out and execute and, uh, couldn't be more proud of this group. Well, Nick, I, everyone talked about Tampa and the season they had, and then the first period comes in game one, it's three, nothing, right? Take me inside the locker room there and what you guys are saying and what just happened and where do we go from here? Yeah, you know, we were kind of ticked off, to be honest with you. I think we were, we were, you know, we had this great speech from Torts. Uh, I think it's been widely shown around. And, <laughs> um, and we just, you know, I think we just came out with just too much respect. And, and not in the, you know, I'm not saying that disrespectfully, how good they are. But I think yeah. we, we didn't realize how good we were and what we could do. And, and didn't really give ourselves a chance in that period and got caught up in the emotions of the game. And uh, I think once we settled ourselves and realized we got into a game and, and boys, there's still 40 minutes left. It's only three, nothing. It's, you know, we're not going to go down that road again with this team. And, and I thought we banded together. I thought Bob's save obviously was huge at that moment. And you need those, you need those in a series. We're going to need it again in the series coming up, but you need those moments. And I, I thought Bob really sparked us. And then our team just kind of started going and, and, and really started to take off and started to believe in ourselves. And um, so, you know, it wasn't much needed to be said. I think it was just more um, a bad taste in our mouth from that first period that we wanted to get out quickly. Nick, this team has faced so much adversity, for lack of a better word, over the last year and a half. I mean, if you, even if you go back to the first round of last year's Stanley Cup playoffs, you know, almost being so close to going up 3 nothing on the eventual Stanley Cup champions. Then you talk about the deadline, all of the talk around Bobrovsky and Panera, and there's been so much talk around the Columbus Blue Jackets. How much do you think that adversity kind of bonded you guys together and actually made you a better team? Absolutely. I think you hit it right on the head. I, I think, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that we kind of struggled when we made those acquisitions at the deadline, especially. And, um, but what I think happened was I think those guys, when we finally got through it and, and had some honesty about our game, especially in Vancouver and uh, right before that, that, uh, that game, um, I think they feel like they're a part of it now. They've, they've taken ownership, the new guys and, and the guys that are here, uh, we've understood who we are and who we need to be in order to be successful. And, you know, this whole year has, has obviously been a lot of diversity uh, in our room and uh, things have been talked about outside our room that are out of our control. And I thought we've done a great job of, of handling it and, and, and coming together. And I think that moment uh, right before, right after the Edmonton game, right before the Vancouver game, I think it just was was our turning point of, of who we wanted to be, who we want to be remembered as and with this group. And 
and, and we run with it. And obviously the job's not done. One series doesn't make it, but I think we just, you're starting to see the, the, you know, the results from, from banding together as a group. And I mean, you look at the celebrations on the bench. I don't know who's more excited, the guys <laughs> on the ice, or the guys on the bench. And, um, that shows a lot about your group. And I couldn't be more proud of these guys and, and the, this, the, you know, unselfishness that we have right now, that whoever's scoring, whoever's making a save or a big play, uh, everybody is thrilled for him, and, and we're going to need more of that. Hey, the guy who was the most excited was that crazy guy behind Tor. <laughs> I mean, that guy, I don't know if you saw the video. <laughs> I just saw the, the beer going nuts. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that, was, yeah, that, that, was, that uh, guy was definitely the most excited guy that I yeah. saw last night. One thing for, for and you're going to show the video over here again in Tor's behind the bench, but... Uh, I think it was his relative. Yeah, <laughs> might, hey, listen, might have been. You never know. So what do you do now? you got some time on your hands. What's the plan for, for Nick Foligno and the Columbus Blue Jackets for the next couple of days? Well, my wife already had me running errands with my kids this morning, so uh, <laughs> right back in it. Um, but you know what? No, I, I mean, we're obviously going to rest and relax and, and enjoy this a little bit with the city, um, but then no... A uh, couple days from now, we got a. I think we got a couple days off here, but a couple days from now, it's back to work. I mean, the, like I told you guys, the job's not done. This room, especially, it was the faces of the guys. It was so great to see last night because you could see the excitement um, and the happiness. Uh, obviously, because you're just moving on, but you could see it in everyone's face. Like we want more. It's almost, uh, you know, it's it's like a drug. You said when you get that taste. Uh, a lot of us haven't experienced that as a group here, so we want more. We're excited about that, and we know it's going to get harder. So. I think that focus and, and, and going through the things we've gone through of years previous, and uh, we're, we're going to make sure we're, we're taking full advantage of this opportunity we've given ourselves. And, and we're going to have a, a lot of fun with our fans and with, uh, with the people here in Columbus and, and just try and keep this thing rolling. All right, Nick, before I let you go, you're a friend of the show. You had some personal challenges this year within your family with one of your children. How are you doing? Is everything okay? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. No, we're uh, we're back to full health here. And, yes. Uh, I, I had a good sit down with the kids and said no more funny business. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a, a trial and year, but uh, I'm really proud of them. They've, they've fought and so much support from so many people. We can't thank enough. So I appreciate you asking. Thank That's you. That's really, really good news. That's awesome, That's awesome yeah. to hear. Uh, listen, congratulations again on the big win and best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. Always good to talk to you.